Hey guys, uh, so I know some people are still having trouble uploading files and downloading files into BlueJay. Um, so I just wanted to make a short video and give you guys some tips on that and talk about the process and how BlueJay actually saves things. Okay, so when you make a new project in BlueJay, uh, it's generally saved as a, as a folder, as a collection of Java files in one folder. So let's say we're going to do this. So we're going to make uh, just a, an example. I'm going to call this the fake lab, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now, where you choose to save it, usually you'll save it in your G drive if you're at school or wherever you save files at home. I'm just going to save it on my desktop here. So I'll do OK. Um, and we can see right away this new, right down here in the lower left corner, this new folder pops up. OK, so now I have my BlueJ. Uh, and now when I go ahead and do some code, or I'm, I'm not even going to do any real code. I'm just going to make a couple classes. So I made a couple classes. We'll pretend you did your labs in here. That's great. OK, so if I close BlueJ, the way they're saved is inside this folder. Now, you're going to notice it looks like this. Um, they look like Java files in JGrasp. And, and sure enough, when you click on them, um, they'll actually go ahead and open in JGrasp. That's kind of what we'd expect. So don't be too confused by that. Um, that's just how Java files will by default probably open on your computer. If you want to open them back in BlueJ, that's the point of this package. Now, the package doesn't actually contain any code. All the package does is it opens everything that's in this folder. So because I have these two Java files in the folder, when I click on the package, it's going to open the two of them in a BlueJ project. And we'll see, that's what we just had. Now, if I didn't have these in my folder, so if I just got rid of the Java files, if I just tried to open the package, it doesn't do anything because there are no Java files by itself. So if you're having this trouble where, oh, I opened the package, but there's nothing in there, a lot of chumps have been doing that, the problem is, is your Java files aren't in the same place. So you make sure they're in the same place, um, and then you'll go ahead and it'll open and everything will be just fine. Okay, so when you go to upload on Google Drive, uh, what you'll do is you're going to upload your Java files, because that's where your actual code is. Um, and you're also going to upload the package so you can do that at home. So what I'm going to do now, I'll go to my Google Drive here. I have my turn in folder. You probably have your own turn in folder with your name on it. And I'll just drag these in here. Um, so I'm dragging in the Java files and the package. Uh, and they should upload. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Okay, so now they're done. So now let's pretend we're at home. All right, so you're at home. You're chilling. Uh, you get home. You open up Google Drive. You have package. You have your Java files. So what you need to do now is save them. And you're going to download all of these and save them in the same place. So I'm going to make a new folder on my desktop or wherever you save your code at home. And I'll say this is like my uh, new assignments or whatever you want to call it, probably like Lab 9 or 510 or whatever. Let's see if I know how to spell. Okay, so this folder, I just made it. Well, there's PC or Mac, it's the same. Uh, it's going to be empty. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download all three of these. So I'm going to download uh, the package folder. I'm going to download the Java. Okay, I'll just save this. Uh, and I'll download the Java folder. Save that. I'll download the other Java folder. Save that. Um, and it's going to go ahead and download those. If you're in Chrome, they're going to be at the bottom of the screen, and you can just drag them into your folder. Um, I'm using Firefox, so I can just drag them from here into the folder. So here's my menu. I drag one file, drag the other file, uh, and then I'll drag the package. So once you've done this at home, you've downloaded your package and your great JGrasp. Uh, they're all in the same place. So when you want to open the Java files in BlueJay, um, everything's saved. You'll click on the package, uh, and it's just going to be the way it was before. So now you're ready to start coding, and when you're done at home, you'll kind of redo the same process. You'll upload the Java, you'll upload the package, and you should be good to go. Okay, uh, if you have any more questions on this, please email me. I hope this was helpful. Borsh out.